I think if you, if you just look at one game, then you, you miss the journey. We are Red Black. The most frequently asked question leading up to Monday's CFL expansion draft is which quarterbacks will the Ottawa Red Blacks choose? The consensus, the Red Blacks will take either Glenn or Tate, with the Stamps widely believed to have protected Bo Levi Mitchell. This is a historic day, obviously, for, for everybody in the nation's capital, for the Ottawa Red Blacks. From the Calgary Stampeders, Carrière, quarterback. From Illinois State, Kevin Glenn. With the expansion draft and with Kevin leaving, you kind of know it's kind of up for grabs. They're going to let Drew and Bo battle it out. It was a tight race. A photo finish, so to speak. Interesting competition at quarterback between Drew Tate and Bo Levi Mitchell. John Huffnagel decided he's going with Mitchell. It was exciting. To get the chance to finally come in professional football and come in and take hold of the reins of your, of your own future. Championship or bust. That simple. For years, behind a CFL mainstay and a Southern gunslinger, an untested 24-year-old Texan lay in the weeds, ready, waiting for his chance. I put the pressure on myself. I expect to perform. Is there anything Bo Levi Mitchell can't do? You only need to see him play once or twice to see how much of a big-time player he is. He's a guy I know every single person on this team will follow. Leading and following is a matter all too familiar to John Cornish. The CFL's most outstanding player in 2013, Cornish led the league in rushing for the second straight season. The astounding numbers he put up last season, we kind of expected it. You'll never see somebody more fierce when they put that helmet on. Here we go, season underway. From the outset of the 2014 campaign, Cornish picks up right where he left off. Direct snap to Cornish. Cornish, left side, and he'll score his first touchdown of the season. With the game tilting in Calgary's favor, an incident late in the fourth quarter puts their Grey Cup aspirations in peril. John Cornish was hit hard in the head. A vicious, vicious swipe. I didn't think anybody would be able to tackle me, and which was the case. But, uh, you know, I didn't think somebody would tackle me illegally. Cornish will miss significant time with a concussion. It's always tough to see a teammate, a brother, a friend go down, especially with an injury like that. Us as a team, we're not going to put our head down and say, there goes our season, there goes our game. We take it as a challenge. We love that adversity and we love overcoming that to show who we are as a team. Touchdown, Bo Levi Mitchell! Led by their new franchise quarterback, Bo sets the team record for most consecutive wins to start a career. And the Red Hot Stamps go six and one. I love that we came out far and I love that we weren't safe that we were going for it. It's my turn to step up. It's my turn to be the guy. It's my turn to go make the play. But as they fly into Ottawa for a week nine game against the Red Blacks, little did they know one of their teammates was about to be hit with tragedy.
I woke up, you know, just a regular morning. Nick Lewis heard him knocking on my door, and he, he came in and he looked at me and we locked eyes. Man, Nick's eyes were watery, so I, just, I knew it wasn't, wasn't good. It never crossed my mind that it was going to be about my little brother getting murdered. Southern Arkansas University mourning the loss of a senior football player killed in a double shooting early this morning. As soon as he told me, I literally lost my breath. I felt like I lost everything. I looked myself in the mirror and just told myself that it's, it's reality and it's something that I have to accept. It didn't take long for me to decide if I was going to play. Um, you know, football has been in my life for a while, and there's nothing more that my little brother would want other than seeing me play. I was lost, but when you're able to look to your side and, and have full confidence in those people that are standing there beside you, I was in the right place. He's the most selfless person I know, uh, and, and he wanted me to come out and say something today. Uh, Joe West lost his little brother today, uh, this morning, uh, in, a, in a tragic a, a tragic turn of events. And we want him to know that, that we are a family here and that, that we're a part of his family and that, that he's got, you know, 56 brothers right here, right behind him. Coaches told him, you don't need to play today. You know, if you want to get on a plane right now and go home, you need to do it. For a guy just to show up to the game after something like that is so inspiring. Looking over the top, and he's got it! What a catch by Joe West! Oh, Levi Mitchell flushed out of the block and had some time. Looks over the top, he's got a man wide open. It's West, and he makes the catch again. He was at that game. It's been tough, but... I know I'm not alone. That's a guy that you'll remember for the rest of your life, whether you play with him or not, just uh, him doing what he did, um, something you'll never forget. And I have never been so fired up to watch a man play in my life. I'm proud to call you my friend and a teammate, Joe West. I'm going to stand strong. And I'm going to keep my brother lifted high, higher than the stars, because he's shining on me, shining on us every day. I love you, B. I love you forever. I think it was just another one of those things that pulled us closer together as a team, showing that we need to be playing for each other. It's not about us, it's not about getting a paycheck. It's about playing together as a team for each other uh, for that one common goal. After months on the injured list and half a season spent on the sidelines, John Cornish makes his long-awaited return to the Calgary lineup. Cornish leads the CFL in rushing as the Stampeders roll in the second half of the season. We went 15 and three. Personally, I feel like we could have easily went 18 and 0. A first round playoff bye sets up a West final showdown with a provincial rival. Let's go. We tell them to go home. Let's go. We ready. Let's go, Calgary. We coming. When a guy gets on camera and says, all right, Calgary, we're coming for you. You know, we got to just turn right back around and say, all right, we're right here waiting. We'll see you when you get here. The West Final. A chance for the Calgary Stampeders to erase memories of playoff disappointment. This time, the journey is through their arch rival, Edmonton. 
Hate is a strong word, but I really don't like that team. Mike Riley led all quarterbacks rushing the football this year. The question is, will he be able to do it on that bad foot? Asked me how would I feel about playing against Mike, and I just kind of thought about a pinata. I'm like, you know, all the good candy that's going to come out when you hit the pinata. The time is right now. Yeah. There is no tomorrow. We work hard for today. One, two, three. Yeah. Woo! Raise your level, man. This is playoff football. Be Western Division champion. Win the game, man. Let's go. Time, baby. Let's go. More than provincial bragging rights today, a birth of the National Classic at State. Hey, let's go do this. Hey, hey, let's go for it right now. On their second possession of the game, Calgary's first year starter makes an instant impact. Oh, Levi Mitchell, open man, Markway McDaniel. And that's there, Peters. Strike early in this West Final. All right, let's go. Let's go. And this time, Riley keeps it and gets outside. Riley can move a little bit on that sore foot. I ain't scared of you, buddy. Yeah, bring it all day. Let's go. With the physicality ramping, Edmonton's defense looks to close in on the league's leading rusher. And Edmonton's persistence presents Calgary an opportunity. When you're trying to stop John in the run game, you're going to have to open things up over the top. Mitchell airing it out of downfield. Caught. Great catch. Shevin Ocampo. Oh, Levi Mitchell took a hit. It's playoff football. They're going to take shots at you, so I'm going to leave my body out there on the line. Bo was a warrior. You know, he's going to fight for yardage on running, and he's going to, you know, take the hits. Mitchell on the keeper, bounces it outside, rolls into the end zone. It's a touchdown! Game time, baby! Let's go! Time to answer, boys. Time to answer. Let's go, D! Come on now, D! <laughs> Picked off by Fred the turnover gives Calgary the ball, and as if his will, Cornish finally breaks through. Taken by Cornish, breaks tackle, 35 at the 40, up at the 45, bounces off another tackle. Wow. I've never witnessed a play like that firsthand. You know, there's a reason why he's the best back in the league, and he showed it. Best touchdown I've ever seen in my life. We've made comebacks bigger than this, so we can't sit here and think that they can't do the same. You know, we got to go out there and keep our foot on the gas pedal. To start the third quarter, the Stampeders stay firmly on the accelerator. Touchdown, Stampeders! Eric Rogers' second touchdown of the game gives the Stampeders a 36-4 lead. But Riley refuses to relent. Another short drop, back there again, touchdown! Paris Jackson has a major score for the Eskimos. Good job, bro. Good job. But soon, the Stampeders' defense tightens up on the Eskimo starter. And to begin the fourth, Sean Lemon deals the final blow. Riley moving around. Downfield. Stamps. Not able to make the catch. Riley slow to get up here. That is not good news at the Eskimo bench. A broken bone in his foot forces Riley out of the game, ending Edmonton's hopes at a comeback. 
and opening the door for Calgary to close it out. Toss left to John Cornish, follows the convoy. He has room, he hits to the goal line. It's a touchdown! And now you can start to punch the tickets, turn on the planes, book the hotel rooms. The Calgary Stampeders are on their way to the Grey Cup in Vancouver. This is our destiny! That's how we roll, boys! Then we showed that Calgary Sam Peters aren't a team that just chokes. When I got announced as a starting quarterback, this is where I saw our team go. Let's go, Let's go, This is an opportunity for us to do something that we haven't done since 2008. We're looking our child's for it. and second Grey Cup. Unfinished business. For the Calgary Stampeders, a chance to erase years of playoff disappointment and put the final stamp on a dominant but tumultuous 2014 season. It's a journey. Bring the Grey Cup back to Calgary. There's no better feeling that I could imagine. In Hamilton, the taste of last year's Grey Cup loss still lingers. This is the Grey Cup. And there's only one thing you do in the Grey Cup, and that's win. What time is it? Hamilton Tigers got so much! Win. Hamilton Tigers got so much! Win. Ticats' defensive strategy is clear from the outset. Shut down John Cornish. The game plan to stop us in playoffs has always been stop the run. Sort of knew my role going into the game as a, you know, as a decoy. With Hamilton's attention on the league's top rusher, opportunity knocks for bold Levi Mitchell. Levi Mitchell on the roll to his right now, going downfield, he's got his man, it's Rodgers! When you have a great quarterback like we do now, I mean, it's not the best game plan. What a play, what a catch! Wow. And Bo Levi Mitchell sizzling hot to start. The Calgary Stampeders have opened up a 14-0 lead. As time runs down in the half, and with the game slipping away, Hamilton turns to its game breaker. They've got to get a touchdown here to get in this game. Kalara stepping up, going deep, has Speedy B, has the touchdown! Oh my goodness, what a play! What a banks like lightning! Calgary and Hamilton with the game still in the balance. 
In the third, Mitchell continues to dissect the Hamilton defense. And now Mitchell steps up and runs away. It doesn't matter what Paul Levi Mitchell does right now. Everything he touches is gold. But as the fourth quarter begins, Mitchell's near perfect game is tarnished. Picked off! Delvin Bro has the interception. Let's go, Zach. Watch Zach work, baby. Zach the Great. Zach the Great. Ball thrown, caught Bantus. Zach Caleros marches Hamilton into the red zone. Calgary's defense bends, but refuses to break. And we know if we had a lead of defense, it's our job to close out the game. Grigsby stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Bishop, big play by Freddie Bishop. Big play, boys, big play! That's the defense I need to see! Two Ticat field goals make it a four-point game. And with under a minute to play and the Grey Cup at stake, Calgary must punt to the most dangerous returner in the league. Every time he gets the ball, you have to pay attention because, like I said, he, he's done so many electrifying things. Here it is, a short boot. There's the hop into the hands of Banks. Seeing uh, Banks, you know, take that last one, grab it, hit the corner, you know it's trouble. Banks looks like he can take this the distance if he wants. He's going to. I watched the play come up. I knew the play was coming back off the bat. We're in the return. Illegal block. Hamilton number 44. It comes down to one last gasp for the Ticats. Arm hit, ball drops, and the Calgary Stampeders in the year of the horse are the Grey Cup champions. to be winners, be champions. I think it completely redefines who the Calgary Stampeders are. It is my pleasure to present the 102nd Grey Cup to the Calgary Stampeders. All the hard work, blood, sweat, and tears, everything, it paid off. We are one of the best teams that ever played in the CFL. I mean, that nobody can take it away from us. We are the 2014 Grey Cup champions.